सो हेलो यूट्यूब सो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम ऑन एवरी सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई यूज टू गेट अ कमेंट दैट ट्राई लॉजिटेक्स जेड नाइन जीरो सिक्स ट्राई लॉजिटेक्स जेड नाइन जीरो सिक्स यू विल बी ब्लॉन अवे सो फाइनली आई हैव ब्रॉड द लॉजिटेक्स जेड नाइन जीरो सिक्स सब ऑफर बिकॉज आई डोंट नीड स्पीकर विच विल थ्रो ओनली वोकल्स सो लॉजिटेक्स जेड नाइन जीरो सिक्स स्पीकर आर नोन टू थ्रो ओनली वोकल्स मेजोरिटी दे आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ऑन वोकल्स बींग द गेमिंग फाइव पॉइंट ऑन सेटअप द वोकल्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट but uh, as you can see here i have a uh, sony 1000 watt rms system which has a uh, twitter size well so i wasn't willing to change this one because the twitters are also important for me and uh, for the mid eyes crystal clear crispy mid eyes uh, sony is pretty popular and trust me it uh, does its job but uh, when it comes to bass uh, it's not uh, so impressive so to replace this subwoofer i brought this uh, logitech z906 subwoofer i got it luckily and its uh, amplifier was blown that's why you can see from back side it's completely sealed off and it's converted into passive sub but the subwoofer is the original one that comes with the logitech z906 nothing is changing to this system so i am planning to convert this into a active sub now i will buy some amplifier uh i'm for this test i will be playing it on my sony dav dz 340k uh, which has a subwoofer of 250 watt rms i believe so but the problem is this subwoofer is uh, of 3 ohms and this subwoofer is 8 ohms so this will get less than half power from this amplifier that's why it's pretty complex let's see how it sounds considering the first impressions of this subwoofer it's uh, very heavy and has a lovely big as port so this port makes the huge difference so people are claiming that this is better than jbl 5.1 soundbar which has 10 inch subwoofer to be honest uh, the size of this subwoofer is not bigger than jbl the jbl sub is uh, pretty huge the enclosure i mean and beefy as well so let's check it out for this test first i will play the same track on my sony system and later we will connect this to my sony system itself just for a test please stay tuned so we are testing this on sony So for this Sony, uh, you can check out other videos as well. I have uploaded many videos. So the base taste of this is the subwoofer is also strong, but it's punchy. Not uh, for meant for the thunder low frequency bass. It's punchy. It's loud, but it's not. It won't go low. So now on the same place, I will install uh, this Logitech subwoofer, and we will continue with the same sound. So now I connected the Logitech, and. 
considering the size it looks uh, pretty small compared to this top sony subwoofer this looks bigger at least the cabinet so let's see if we can hear any difference please note that uh, we are sending very low signal and this amplifier might have might have the low pass filter already because the sony original sub is not meant to provide the extreme low frequency bass so let's try this track on logitech So let me tell you the difference in the first glance. Uh, this sub is definitely hitting the lows better, but uh, it's not as loud as Sony subwoofer, at least on this amplifier. Maybe on its original Logitech amplifier it might go loud, but on this amplifier, uh, being amplifier being designed for three ohms and we have connected eight ohm subwoofer, so at least on this setup it's not as loud as I was expecting. Also, it's throwing a lot of uh, mid bass, uh, which I definitely hate. Maybe because Sony amplifier is designed to do that to make system loud. So, considering this for initial expressions, uh, I definitely do not recommend this subwoofer better than Logitech, uh, sorry, JBL 5.1 soundbar, which few people say that uh, Logitech is everything and Logitech can beat this and that but uh, considering the low frequency bass definitely i can hear the low frequency bass uh, and some notes in my first initial impression are better than jbl trust me the low frequency performance is better than jbl sometimes uh, but it's not as loud as i expected to be maybe because of this amplifier as i said before now let's try some decaf music uh, i hope i won't get copyright for this but uh, the sub is good no doubt about that but this is uh, I don't know why very overhyped maybe the original amplifier which comes with the Logitech Z906 will make a day and night difference because it is well engineered for that purpose no, definitely decaf songs are uh, more pleasurable more and you can enjoy it on this subwoofer these frequencies my sony subwoofer was never able to reproduce i hope i won't get copyright guys awesome so this kind of music you can listen for hours and hours it's very pleasing
Logitech Z906 subwoofer. Uh, definitely it's a good piece and worth it but uh, I won't comment uh, I won't come to the conclusion that it is better than everything I heard many systems which are better than this like Bose Audio, JBL, Onkyo, Yamaha, Clips and all what not so but for the price it's definitely worth it and the right price should be uh, around 20k in fact uh, less than that considering the features it's giving in today's era uh, the build quality is definitely good but the amplifier is known to blow as you saw in this case also the amplifier blew away and logitech is uh, very good in engineering of audio but the audio engineering is so complex that no local mechanic can fix it so keep that in mind and then take your decision if you are lucky i have seen few people using logitech z906 or any other system for decades so if you are lucky even your system will last long just uh, take good care of it and you need to be lucky that's all thanks for watching this video if you have any questions drop your comments below i will be buying new amplifier for this sub uh, please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel leave loud